And let's review a few promotion guidelines. Mabilis ang naman yan, two slider uh, presentation. And then I'll go through the, lead, the leader application form also, uh, which, is, um, which is required by our licensing department. Uh, I'll go through the Revalida presentation material also, and then which includes the three-year business plan. Madali lang naman yung three-year business plan, and actually this is quite, uh, this is the most useful for you as we move forward, or as you become a leader actually, kasi ito yung babalik-balikan nyo. Um, every time there is difficulty, every time there is change, the three-year business plan should be fundamental or should be the one immovable focal point as a leader moving forward. So I'll start with the promotion guidelines. Very, ano lang naman, very, what you call this, um, very basic. Para lang meron tayo understanding of, of um, the actual mechanics of the Revalida. So let me just try to share my screen once again. Oops. Wait now, wait now. Yeah. So just to go through um, the actual the actual next steps. Right. Ay, si Rowell, nandiyan na pala. Okay, okay. Next steps. Leader walkthrough. So dito sa ating app, uh, promotion application or yung sa ating Revalida, we will only be having, at least on the standard level, ano? hindi doon sa AUM financing. You will only be having three panelists no? or you will only need three endorsements. Um, your unit manager, if direct, if direct to the agency man manager, then of course your agency manager na. Uh, me, the BDM, and DOAC, Ms. Suzette. And the three main requirements are the application form, the business plan, which includes the Excel file, uh, the Excel file for the specific business plan, and then the panel interview score sheet, which will be given by our three panelists, UM, BDM, and DOA. So uh, step one will be, um, after I get your... Your documents, I will set already a revalida schedule with Ms. Suzette, maybe another uh, another BDM, and then with your unit manager, of course. Um, after the panel, uh, we will collate the score sheets and then send them to licensing already. Kasi sila yung, uh, sila yung official kumaga, governance team that will decide or encode your promotion from C1, di ba? C1 tagging, advisor level tagging to you too already as, a, as an AUM receiving um, receiving fixed overrides on your on your team 15% overrides diba? um and then mm -hmm. syempre it's a first come first serve basis so sino yung maunang magbigay so uh, for the people here you can submit it as soon as June 10 already so kung June 10 natin mabigay, syempre we are will be will be sitting at the front of the line. Tayo yung unang maka-process ng ng licensing. And then after they check their completeness, review a little bit, diba, will, they will give the status of uh, the requirements and the status of the promotion to us, which we will then relay to you. So uh, for June 10, diba, it's... Uh, for the five people who are already completing the requirements, June 10 is week one. For the few who will be catching up still, si Naruel, Neil, and JJ, pwede naman week one pa of, ano, um, or actually, hindi, until the end of June. So June 30, let's submit our requirements. And the effectivity, while we will be doing our valid schedules um, as early as June already, the effectivity in the system will be for you guys is July. Because um, it only happens every calendar quarter, yung, yung ating official promotions or yung official tagging of promotions. But uh, the requirements can be done as soon as June 10. Kung hindi umabot, yung ating other, um, yung ating other candidates the last chance to get promoted this year will be October 1. 
Kasi nga, every calendar quarter lang yan. So after October 1, the next batch will be January 1 already. And that would be 2022. Oh, sana makalabas na tayo ng bahay nun. Eh. Sana may travel already. So yun. Alright, so that's the... Sip- Ay, hindi, meron pa pala. So sample is if we apply applied on Feb 10, di ba, we can complete the requirements by Feb 15. And promotion effectivity will be week one of the following or the first month of the calendar quarter, which in this case is April 1. Or in your case will be hopefully July 1. So okay, so let's uh, move to the leader application form naman. Yung, ito yung ating... Uh, Kumbaga, spark kit, if you remember your spark kit when you were still when you were still applying to be a financial advisor of Filament or, or Starbright. Ito naman ang spark kit for promotees. Yeah. Very plain. Very boring. Pero it's uh, it's required. Uh, kailangan lang naman ang name, your unit, if not, if direct unit, then indicate the direct unit of the agency, date of application, your your picture, etc. ba? Work experience, if you have any, di naman kailangan. For example, si Zach was a fresh grad, uh, then his work experience is uh, financial advisor, di ba? Educational background, simply lahat matay college graduates, um, agency trainings. So. Siguro important to indicate here is at least yung ating leader BOP uh, that we attended with uh, si Ms. Nina who was our speaker um, in the last national leader BOP. So kasama yun. Kasama nyo yun dito. And then if you attended the Kaum callback and uh, for Jeremy, yung ating BBSG. Ayun, pwede mo isama yan dyan. Pwede mo isama yung trainings mo dyan. Actually, it's good to highlight company company webinars, ladder name, leader BOPs. Your health, oh, syempre. Uh, reference, pwede na yung ating leaders if you have no previous work experience. Uh, insurance ownership, kailangan kasi at least 500,000 personal insurance from Film Life, which I'm sure all of you all already have. And then personal product, personal production, your team, your list of agents, their uh, their PA code and their PA date. And then finally, uh, your signature as the candidate. Tapos dito na kami pipirma yung ako as the BDM, the unit manager or the direct uh, agency manager, and then DOAC, Ms. Suzette, will provide her approval also. So this is ano, um, kumagata, the, the most basic form that we will need by June 10. Kung wala pa ng business plan, okay lang. Basta ito meron tayo by June 10. Raph, question. Sige, go ahead, Zach. Uh, Raph, yung sa, ano, sa agents, can you scroll up uh, a bit? Kasama ba yung, um, yung uh, agent ng agent ko? Kasi si Jerica may isa na siyang coded. I-list ko na rin dyan. Oo. Oh, oh, oh. yeah. yeah. oh. Okay, thank you. Kasi um, technically, hindi pa siya AUM. So, ang overrides ng kanyang recruits will go to you. And then when you become a unit manager, um, they will also be part of your team. So, ganun siya. Uh, similar to actually how your recruits are also under Ms. Nina. So, so ganun din. Uh, Alright. So, ito yung first one actually. By June 10, hopefully meron tayong lahat ito. Leader application form. Whether whether you hit the requirements, for example, sina, sina J... Um, Sina JJ and Neil have one only. Um, or or not. But let's submit this as soon as June 10. Okay, the next one is medyo mas mahaba na siya, yung ating revalida template. This will be the bulk of, or actually the, the main bulk of your presentation already uh, during our revalida. Karin, do we need to print this or pwede e-signature? Pwede naman e-signature. Oo. Um, kasi online na lahat, hindi tayo pwede makita. <laughs> so, pwede PDF format, di ba? Let's fill out the, the Excel file. Actually, I'll, to be safe, although I provided a template to the readers already way before, I'll, 
I'll provide it once again to everyone here. So, inilista ko na lang si Zach, uh, Karim, Jeremy, Gerald, Roel. So, inilista ko na. So, I'll provide it to everyone here. Next step is yung ating Revalida template. So, ito na yung uh, presentation presentation time and actually, this is the most tedious, hindi mo tedious, pero the most work heavy uh, on your part. And for this one, siguro at least June 15, masubmit natin siya. Pero hopefully, as soon as, or as early as the weekend, you can already start and try to fill it out with the help of your leaders. Kasi pre, ang, ang maganda dito, dun sa business plan na presentation template is, if it is aligned with the business plan of your unit manager, and more importantly, with the agency. So ito simulan na natin. I think yung, yung huli kong naabutan na business plan was yung kay Argel, o naalala ko pa yun. Naalala ko pa yun sa sa fourth floor ng, ano, ng gamot. Pero parang, parang kahapon lang, pero that was two years ago already. So ito na siya, business plan presentation template. Kung mapapansin nyo, it's a bit different for the leaders. Uh, nagbago na siya. Kasi before it was uh, designed by Martin Aquino, di ba? Uh, now, they, now head office decided to make it, what they call it, um, standard across regions, uh, kahit na nagaprobinsya ka or Metro Manila, they decided to make it the same template again. So ito siya. The first one is your vision in words. Very simple lang naman yan. Actually, pwede nyo gamitin yung vision of Starbright. You can just add on it a bit. Or actually, the vision, ang, ang mas maganda actually is if you pattern it with the vision of your leader. For example, si Nazak, yung vision ni na Madam Nina. Or if not, di ba, yung vision na ng Starbright, which is, uh, which you are already familiar with. The next step is, ito yung, ito yung, Iba sa old template versus the new one. Now they're fo they want to see it in numbers using MAPA. So MAPA for leaders, actually this is a word that you will be uh, very familiar with as you move forward with your new career or your, your new step. MAPA stands for manpower, active advisors, case rate, and yeah, average case size. So it's, it's MAPA. And more or less, it will make up your total production kasi manpower or active advisors multiplied by case rate multiplied by case size will be your ANP which will be the basis for your for your validation which will be the basis for your ALCR your trip uh, how to call this your your trip qualifications um, awardings and rankings as a UM, kasi as an AUM, wala pa tayong ganun eh. As, a, as an AUM, actually, on our uh, qualifications, advisor level pa lang siya. If you notice dun sa mga, sa promos natin, di ba? On, on Rome, on, uh, on our regional and international trips, it's advisor and then UM kagad. So wala pa tayong AUM. But for our validation as a UM, in a span of one year or less, it will be based on ANP. Diba? And ANP will be based on manpower, active advisors, case rate, and case size. So if you have the vision in words, put it into numbers also. The next is the mission, which you can also pattern with Starbright. Actually, maganda nga na ano, ilagay nyo na lang yung uh, mission of Starbright dito with a few tweaks uh, that you would like to see in your own team. Core values. Meron din ang Starbright nito. You, you always say it in every meeting. Diba Starbright core values. Uh, culture. It can be a one-liner. Culture of excellence. Culture of consistent production. Culture of engagement. Or, or all of the above. All, uh, what they call this? All of the above. Ang ginagawa ni na Ang favorite gawin ng, ng uh, promotees ni Jerome dito is uh, acronym. Diba? So the team name and then per, per name, ayun yung kanilang expected uh, 
or values or culture. So, pwede rin yun, di ba? Uh, it's, it's cute and catchy and easy to remember. Especially if you come up with a team name already. And then, ito na yung actual numbers sa ating performance review, which will be the basis of licensing naman to gauge if you are really promotable already. So, team performance as of uh, June 10, di ba? Your manpower, your current manpower, your uh, year-to-date ANP, FYC and F, uh, FYP and FYC. Uh, persistency, pwede na yung personal persistency dito kasi wala pa naman tayong team. So ilagay nyo na lang yung inyong uh, person, personal persistency that you can see in agency portal. And then your new recruits year-to-date, you can also indicate the number. Here. So lahat ito number or numerical figures. Manpower year to date, ANP to FYC year to date, persistency, personal, and then your new recruits. Uh, and then this, ito na papasok yung breakdown of uh, of your team. So per agent, ilalagay natin dyan yung kanilang tenure, how many years they've been with the team or the company, their year to date ANP, FYP, FYC, and their persistency. What went well, you can indicate here what went what um what went well during that time you were preparing yourself for leadership or kumbaga, what went well the past uh, the past period when you were still building your team. For example, your recruitment efforts natin with um uh, with Zach diba, in building in recruiting Jerica, in recruiting Brian, and etc. So um what what aspects for example what tools for example for, from the company that you utilized i recruit can be one content library diba for jeremy it can be your weekly bbsgs for the rest it can be your weekly next gen uh, assemblies with dj diba so what were you able to utilize in your recruitment efforts and, and actually your activation efforts also. Doesn't have to be a long paragraph. Actually, from what I've seen before, uh, bullet points can do. Diba? Five, maybe uh, three to five bullet points can do. And uh, ang maganda gamitin dito yung mga tools that are available to you. So, consistent BOPs, for example. Yung, yung ating... Very predictable and scheduled BOPs every Wednesday and Saturday. So it's like a well-oiled machine already, di ba? Kung meron kang, meron kang invite in mind, automatic na. When are you available? Saturday or Wednesday? Pasok na. And in guidance, um, yung next-gen assemblies ng Starbright, yung leader BOP ni Miss Nina, for example, yung BBSGs ni Jeremy, and then yung ating I recruit and content library for our recruitment uh, social media postings for one. What could be improved? So based on your efforts and activities um, the past year or so, the past time that you've been building your team, um, what could have been improved? For example, I remember sa ating BBSG sessions with Jeremy, yung ating uh, time scheduling or time boxing, di ba? Setting a specific time for your recruitment efforts or difficulties in balancing. For example, uh, you can indicate that there was a certain challenge in balancing personal production with recruitment activities. So what could be improved is your time management between the two. Um, perhaps having a work week schedule, Mondays, Monday, Wednesday, Friday can be team management days. Tuesdays and Thursdays can be personal production days, etc. That's only as an example. And it can be bullet points also. Three to five will do. Yeah. Ano ba yung pwede kong ma-improve as a leader in terms of team management, uh, recruitment, and of course, personal production also. Ito na yung numbers. Uh, the three-year business plan projection. So I'll have to stop sharing once again and show you the Excel file. 
that you will be using in uh, for this segment. So let me bring it up once again. Oops. No. Technical challenge. So far, may questions ba tayo dun sa ano, uh, revalida presentation? May tanong si Zach. Ah, eh. Is the MAPA vision three years? Actually, the MAPA vision is um, ano ba? In three years. Hindi, hindi naman eh. Um, maybe as a unit manager Sige, pwede na rin three years kasi pwedeng, pwedeng, in, in one, pwedeng in one year unit manager ka na. So how do you want to appear as a unit manager? Or what is the final state that you want to happen as a unit manager? For example, gusto mo maging awardee like Madam Nina. So uh, you, want to same, you want to have the same level of production or profitability as North Star. So you indicate the number of North Star right now ang kanilang absolute manpower, the average active advisors that they have, diba? the FYP that, uh, that you have, FYC, and etc. So it's not exactly three-year vision. Actually, pwede nga rin as an agency manager if, if it's the last step that you want to take, diba? if you want to go as far as becoming an agency manager, what, uh, what MAPA would you like to have? So it's, it's up to you. It's your vision. I made it five years for now. Okay, okay na yan. Jeremy, medyo nagawa ko na nga yan. Plotting of schedule. Tama, kasi part yan ng, ng BBSG natin. Eh. Si Argel Oki. Ah, baka yung comment ko kanina sa ating sa ating uh, doon? sa ating business plan presentation two years ago. So, okay. Three-year business plan. Ito, which is this is very important because as you move forward through the years of being um, of being a leader of of Starbright and of of the agency also, a lot of things will change. The direction of the company, the um, what do you call this? Um, the teammates that you will have, the makeup of the team, the um, Actually, the, the, business, the business format of the industry. Because can you imagine just two years ago, uh, no, one would have, no one would have imagined or thought that insurance can be done purely on a digital basis. It would have, if you mentioned it to tenured advisors or tenured leaders before, they would have laughed at your face. Because we nga tayo magbenta digitally before. We bawal tayo ng ating insurance commission. So a lot can change. Actually, especially if you decide to do this until retirement. For Zach, grabe, ang tagal pa nun. Can you imagine, kalahati pa lang ng buhay mo. Diba? You can, it can go up to uh, 30 years being a leader. So a lot can change. Maybe, malay natin, we can be selling insurance in Mars by then. So business plan is important because itin babalikan natin. As things change, the business plan should remain the same. So anything can happen in a span of three years. Uh, things can go back to normal. Things can escalate. But the business plan should remain the same. So ito yung titina natin. Uh, on the business plan, this is MAPA put into practice on a monthly basis as an AUM. Kasi very basic, uh, basic, very basic lang naman ang computation ito. Actually, it should be AUM pa na. Should make this as an AUM. Ayan. Oops. AUMM. Metro Manila. Okay. Very basic lang naman ito. You indicate your starting team by promotion as a... So, kung maga, by July 1, ano ba yung, ano ba yung starting uh, number natin? So, let's say 3. Di ba? And so it automatically puts the number or end state of the number of advisors that you would be having. And then you will indicate here the number of recruits that you can expect month on month. So you can be as realistic as possible. But this should be in line 
hopefully with your with your vision so if it's three years so dapat in, in line din ito with uh, with the vision that you would be stating in terms of numbers in the second the second uh, slide of the presentation so new recruits one one per month sabihin natin let's let's be more realistic maybe one every other month for example ganyan and then terminations maybe one every quarter one every fiscal quarter so it computes the number of end advisors the ending manpower that you will be having every month starting july and then you can also estimate your your activity ratio so um, maybe you can pattern it with the activity ratio that you have with North Star, with Star Bright, and with your team, diba? so it's 60%. Uh, right now, the average activity ratio of, of Star Bright is 60%. So more or less, it's three producing advisors month on month, and you can estimate how much that will be moving forward. 60%, 60, etc., etc. Um, and then the case rate, you can also indicate here the expected case rate. We're actually the target case rate that you will be having. So let's say two, which is the average case rate of star by type now. Or if North Star, it's 2.5. So it, it's eight cases for the, oops, 60%. 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5. So it's eight cases, month and month. And then the average case size is 35,000. If you're talking about new recruits, and this is based off our, ano, our EADP SBSGs every Friday, talagang 35,000. Actually, 32 pa nga. 35,000 ang kanilang average case size. If you're talking about rookies, yun talagang. So it will automatically project the AMP that you will be having. Right? Projected FYC, the estimate is 30%. You can change this if you want to be more conservative to 25%. And then AUM DPI is 15%. Okay. And moving forward, actually right now, dapat wala pa tayo yung expected operational expenses. Pero... For example, we go back to normal and you start meeting your team outside. Diba, magkakaroon tayo ng team meetings sa restaurants or maybe awarding ceremony sa, ano, sa lapisiri. Diba, gusto niyo mag-wine and cheese to celebrate or, or, or ang inyong team launch kung meron kayong planned event in that, in that sense. Or baka gusto niyo rin mag-hire ng secretary. Diba? To... Kasi eventually, as your team grows, lalaki din yung responsibility in handling not just the operational concerns of your own clients, but also the clients of your team. Lalo na kung month on month na recruit tayo. Diba? So you can also indicate expected expenses here. So pwede kayong humingi ng tulong dito on, uh, from your leaders. They can give you the estimation of their existing operational expenses given the size of their team. You can indicate here, siguro 5,000 pesos. Or if you want to be safe, you know, 10,000 pesos. So what will happen? It's dapat negative to. Negative 10,000 pesos. So what will happen is, and uh, mapapakita niya yung net projected yung DPI. So you can play around with this as, um, as an AUM candidate. To gauge if based on the existing operating expenses or the projected operating expenses that I will have, what is the target AUM DPI that I should be getting as a leader? Para naman I can be properly compensated with my efforts in terms of team management, uh, recruitment activities, etc. And of course, para din makover yung ating personal, uh, personal needs diba, as a leader. So based on this, 1.8 pa lang, so kulang pa. So, where do you need to focus on? Given this, maybe case size. Diba? You can influence case size, 40,000. Teach them how to talk to um, VIP clients or to bring, up the, to bring up the average case size by bringing up the coverage on their, on their plans. Or you can also encourage them to be productive kung gusto nyo gawin silang apat-dapat. 
na four cases per month. So tataas din. Actually, mas maganda ako four cases per month. If not, maybe you can improve your manpower, which is the most fundamental, the most basic. Instead of one, two. Yun lang, with the activity ratio of 60%, baka maging three yan. Let's say three. Ayan, tataas na yung ating um, ANP and projected DPI also. So you can play around with this tool. Actually, ito yung maganda dyan. Para malaman nyo, based on the skill that you have, based on your strengths and weaknesses, where can you focus on? Is it manpower, activation, productivity, yung ating case rate, or average case size? Diba? Reaching out to more clients or bringing up the coverage to a higher portfolio. Ay si Ms. Suzette is also here. Mamaya, pwede tayong bigyan ni Ms. Suzette ng tips based on the numerous survivalidas that she's been in, syempre, throughout the years. The 44 years of being a DOA. Diba? Joke lang. Sobra. Sige, sige, sige. Baka pwede yun din ang target manpower natin lahat. 44. So, joke lang. Man. So, yan. Um... Uh, actually, ang favorite part ko of, of the business plan is the Excel template. Kasi it gives you an actual figure on your targets. Diba? Kanina binigyan, uh, humingi kami ng uh, vision in terms of words. Now, based on actual results, what can you expect? And given operating or projected operating expenses, may kita nyo din, ay cool, baka kulang pa yung efforts ko. So what can we improve on? Di ba? Napaka-clear. Ito yung gusto ko sa negosyo ko. Eh. Ang clear ang clear ng steps to take. Kulang yung DPI ko kasi ang taas ng expenses. Then where do I need to focus on? In terms of mapa. Napaka-clear. It's very, very crystal. Very, ano, very clean. So let me just go back to the presentation. So, so far, so good. SFSG, do we have questions? Wala pa. Sobrang basic computation lang actually nung, ano, nung business plan. Kung ayaw, actually, kung ayaw nyo yung format, pwede kayong gumawa ng sarili nyo na sobrang basic nung formulas na ginamit ko. So, no questions so far? Okay, mukhang wala pa naman. Alright. Meron pa bang ano, nakikinig? Baka wala na. Can I get uh, an exclamation mark if it if uh, everything is still good? Alright. Ayun. Parang BOP lang. Can I get an exclamation mark or a dollar sign? Okay, an exclamation mark. So you can do that on your first year. Siyempre, ang expectation is on your first year, AUM pa lang tayo. But, you can finish your, your AUM as early as uh, six months based on fast track promotion requirements. So expectation is year one AUM. So ang DPI natin is 15% only. And then on your year two, unit manager na tayo. So your DPI will go up to 30% already or 40% if you focus on your new recruits. Can you imagine, because ang fixed DPI ng leaders is 40% on new recruits, can you imagine if at least 1 million ANP is coming from your new recruits? Magkano yung, magkano yung uh, DPI nyo doon? 40% of 1 million. 400,000, grabe. And even if it's coming from um, the help of your fellow, uh, of your ARP recruiters, diba? for example, Saxy, you have Jerica, for Neil, he has, he has Diane, who by then should be a graduate of EADP already, a recruiter. Kahit na magbibigay kayo ng 15% override on ARP incentive, it's still 25% on new recruits. Ang laki. So wala lang, just a food for thought. So by year two, you unit manager na. And then year two, uh, year three, uh, can be unit manager or senior unit manager if you were able to develop a unit manager under you already. For example, si Zach, Jerica can be a unit manager also by this time. For Neil, 
uh, Diane can be a unit manager by this time also. Sino pa ba? Yun pa lang kasi si Jeremy, new recruits lang yung uh, manpower natin. Ano? And si, si Karin also. I think uh, uh, wala pa tayong... Meron na ba? I'm not sure. If, if we have a leader in the pipe already for Karin's team. So, ito, pwedeng mangga. Uh, actually, hindi, naman, hindi pwede. Ito yung, dito papasok yung Excel file. So, if you want, you can just leave this black and during the Revalida, open up the three-year business plan template that you would, you, would, you would also be having the Excel file. So, yan siya. And then, the last portion is action plan na, um, which you will also be filling out. So, ito yung breakdown ng action plan mo moving forward. And uh, actually, with the business reviews with your leaders, ito rin yung babalik-balikan natin. So kung if you are uh, behind on your recruitment results, diba? so you will go back to this. Who do you want to recruit in the first place? Diba? Your target market. Is it, uh, is it your friends, your existing clients, your office mates, if you are a part-timer? Um, ano pa ba yung mga nakita ko? Friends, social circle, college... Uh, um, college mates, uh, teammates, and then clients. Ayan. So where will you be sort? Where will where will you source these recruits, or who will you pedering? Who will you be recruiting? Ang uh, ilalagay nyo dyan is a uh, working class, de The profile also of your clients. For example, if you want, if you want to focus on fresh graduates, then you will be uh, the target market will be from your university, diba? from maybe from De La Salle, from CSB, from UP, from Ateneo. Diba? Although sabi nga nila, we're not for everyone daw. Diba? Pero you can be for everyone. That's, uh, that can be up to you. So where will you source these recruits? LinkedIn, your client portfolio, um, social media marketing, etc. So pwede nyo ilagay dyan. Ito na. Ito yung uh, more numerical basis, which, Jeremy, you should be familiar with also. Kasi ito yung pinag-uusapan natin sa, sa BBSG, di ba? And for the rest, this is practically your ACE numbers. Di ba? How many contacts will you be working on? How many leads have you generated? And based on your approaches, how many set appointments have you made from these leads? From the set appointments, how many were seen calls, diba? How many did you actually interview? How many did you register to the BOP? How many showed up? How many enrolled in e-learning? How many have submitted or have an active iRecruit application? And how many are you planning to code on an annual, quarterly, monthly, and weekly basis? So maganda dito, is apart from talking about uh, the actual recruits that you are planning to have by the end of the, your first year as an AUF, you will also be considering uh, how, many, how many active or how many I recruit applications should I be targeting also based on past experience, diba? and based on uh, application, I recruit applications, how many should be active in e-learning, and etc. Ang maganda dito, hindi lang results yung binabantayan, but also the lead measures, but also the pipeline. Diba? Kanina, I showed you earlier, ito yung, ito yung status ninyo in terms of ANP, absolute manpower. Pero pinakitaan ko rin kayo ng, ng pipeline. Diba? So ang maganda doon, alam natin kung meron tayong mapagkukuhanan ng uh, ng recruits moving forward. And it also generates that ano, that culture of um, activity monitoring which was not present before. Kaya it, ito yung gusto ko sa sa bagong template ng business presentation na wala before sa um, sa format ni Martin. Okay. And then the action plan 
Ito part na to ng presentation ni Martin before. So action plan is, uh, in terms of recruitment, is um, like for example, a needs-based interviews or uh, recruit interviews. What is the frequency? When will you start? Diba? You can also have here uh, coaching sessions with your with your current leaders in terms of uh, paano ba mag-prospect ng recruits or how do I manage, um, how do I source pala, how do I source uh, potential leads for recruitment. So ilalagay nyo when or what is the timeline of this action plan. Uh, what support will you need uh, from the team? from the agency and from the company also and then what is the desired result how many how many recruits would you want to have or how many leads would you want to generate from this action plan so in social media posting consistent uh, social social media posting in in linkedin um, paid ads in facebook what is the frequency what is the resource needed or required what is the desired result, how many leads would you want to have from your LinkedIn efforts, from your Facebook ads, yung mga ganyan. Kung meron tayong recruitment strategies, meron din tayong activation strategies. Uh, action plan is uh, coaching sessions or business reviews with your with your advisors. How many, how many days in a week would you want to have your business, how many days in a month would you have your, would you have your business reviews? Uh, your unit meetings with your team, di ba? Your activity monitoring sessions, your A sessions with your team. And what is the desired result? How many producing advisors would you want? How many cases? What is the average cases that you would want from your, uh, from your team? So, ganyan siya. Team management strategies. Oh, man, activation in team management. Pwede natin ipaghiwalay yung uh, productivity and activation dito. So activation is your ACE engagement or you actually yung overall engagement with uh, ano overall engagement is and then activation is your ab, is for your absolute manpower. So how many do you want to be producing this month for example? So pwedeng pumasok dito yung uh, engagement with the agency's activities with the company's activities diba? and then team management is pwede natin gawin dito is your average case rate and case size already uh, if you want to develop MDRTs in your team so ano naman yung game plan for them would you want to have personal coaching would you want to have them enrolled in tama oh yeah, yeah. would you want to enroll them in special seminars that the company has or other in uh, other companies in the industry also have um, for example for 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 uh, for Zach would you want to enroll them in um, your sessions with Tony Robbins if you want them to be like you but to have that same similar mindset uh, what else so ito pure activation dito na papasok din kanila productivity in uh, developing their case size and in developing their case rate also. Ito, pure activation lang. Engagement, ACE, etc. Ito, coaching, additional seminars and learnings. Oh, yan, tama. Activity ratio, activation. And self-development, of course, for you. Ayan, tama. Oo, tama yan. And then self-development for you. Um, what what uh, what specific trainings or uh, how would you also like to develop yourself as as an uh, a rookie leader for example meron kaming pace setter trainings uh, in the company may gamma may limbra di ba um, perhaps specific business coaching with your leaders with DJ with madam Nina ano pa ba Ano pa ba pwede? Actually, ang dami eh. <laughs> pwede nyo alamin yung uh, development strategy, strategies na inyong direct supervisors. So, uh, you have that also. So, what else? 
And then lastly, hindi pa pala last, but a brief competitive analysis of your personal strengths and the team's weaknesses also. So strengths and weaknesses of the team and yourself is internal. So um, where do you think you are strong in? For example, you are strong in, um, in generating leads, uh, in inviting people to the BOPs, but you are weak in converting them into, into LMS. Uh, you're, you're strong in social media marketing. Diba? Some may be weak in social media marketing. You are strong in face-to-face -face interviews or face-to-face -face prospecting on your recruits, but may be weak in social media marketing in that sense. So you can indicate it here. Tapos opportunities and threats are external. Opportunities are, um, for example, there are a lot of there were a lot of displaced employees during the during the crisis that can be an opportunity uh, a smoother recruitment process uh, like i recruit content library are opportunities for you also pure digitalization of recruitment activities is also can also be an opportunity for you threats can be our competitors the sheer size and speed of the recruitment efforts of also of our competitors like true life and etc threats can also be ayun, the, the uncertainty of our um, of our times for example uh, we may have on-site examination schedules but we are also limited by um, by the, the guidelines set by uh, the inter ano tawag dun, yung IATF for COVID. We're also limited by the pandemic. So, hindi rin tayo, hindi natin, hindi rin natin kayo lumabas completely, um, completely with our team. And sometimes uh, scheduled exams are cancelled because of uh, threats to threats to our health. So, it can be external, things like those. But also, Opportunities can also be present in those uh, in those scenarios. So that's competitive analysis. And then lastly, ito na, and this is very important because the biggest challenge that I always uh, hear from hear from prospective leaders is balancing personal production with recruitment efforts or team management. Because Right now, most of you are MDRTs. Di ba? Lalo na si Zach, Gerald, and Karin. Veteran MDRTs. So, sanay na tayo sa ating personal production. But team management is a different animal altogether. It's a different ball game. Di ba? It's a, practically, it's the major leagues already. So, to... to actually, to maintain sanity also, di ba? And to... To provide structure when uh, when it seems like there is none, let's work on a structured work week of activities. And it will help you also. For example, kung lumaki na yung team ninyo and they keep, and they keep uh, trying to schedule or they, they want to schedule with you um, a surprise JFW or maybe an issue, diba? susundan din nila yung structured work week ninyo. Asabihin natin, no, mon my Mondays is for my family, so please respect my time also. My Tuesday, sige, is for team management. My Wednesday is for, ano, um, what do you call this? For recruitment activities. Thursdays is for operational concerns. Friday is for personal production. And then Saturday is your personal me time. Ang favorite example ko dito is Yung kay uh, Jen Magno. Uh, I think she explained this also during um, during a, a sharing session with North Star. Diba? She showed her very hectic, full but structured work week. Ito, I'll just share it briefly. Hindi niya alam pero nag-screenshot ako nito. If you remember, uh, uh, for for North Star attendees here, di ba, pinakita niya ito. So it's very similar to that. And actually, doon ang galing yun. 
diba? Alam na, ala, before I remember during, especially during the initial part of 2020, uh, newly, new mother siya, diba? Kakapanganak lang ni Jaeger, tapos nagkaroon pa ng pandemic, and then Supernova was recently launched as an agency. So, ang dami, ang daming new things for her at that time. But she had to take care of uh, her team as well as, as well as two babies. So, si Jaeger at si Jar, the joke lang. So she, to avoid or to keep or maintain her sanity, she scheduled a structured work week for herself in this new digital world. So Mondays are agency activities. Her ACE, her learning sessions, their, uh, their agency COPs. And then Tuesdays are recruitment activities. Uh, interviews, in the afternoon and in the morning sessions. Wednesday is for personal production. Thursdays are for leader meetings with your fellow leaders in Supernova. Friday is team management, one-on-one -on -one coaching. And of course, EADP, business reviews also. And then Saturdays are her unit, uh, unit meetings also. And rookies dialogue then. If you, if you think... You need your rookies need special attention, which most likely they will. So that's what I'm talking about with a work week structure. And more or less, the most successful leaders have a very structured work week. Ayan ang kanilang sikreto. Yung ating mga MDR lead, MDRT leaders, that was, or that is their secret. And actually with that, alam ko medyo nag-overtime ako, but uh, that was essentially the steps that we will need to take moving forward. So do you have, do you have questions so far? Dun sa ating uh, napakita. Actually, tapos na ako.